Hello, welcome back to my Zai opinion. Today we're talking about a little something something that uh, I would like to bring some attention to. Over the time, video game creation has um, evolved and um, video games are being put at more at higher prices, basically. Now I am mainly talking about this because of some people being angry at, over the fact that the new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the game blow. called Tears of the Kingdom is being priced at $70. $70? I mean, there's some people out there, argh, but like $70 is a little bit much. But at the same time, when you think about it, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was one of the most um, successful games for Nintendo, so why wouldn't they price it at $70? Shit, Sh should have priced it at 80 to be completely honest. Am I paying that much for Legend of Zelda Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom? That's a long name, to be completely honest. That shit not as long as uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja... The longest game name on planet Earth. Naruto Shippuden... Yep, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Full Burst. That is crazy. I played through that whole game. That shit was fire. I even unlocked the snake dude at the end. with the He had the big character thingy when you... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. But people are angry, upset at Nintendo for pricing this at $70, okay? I'm not even going to be able to play it because I don't have a Switch. I used to have a Nintendo Switch. Guess what happened to it? They weren't releasing anything at the time I had the Switch. Well, a little bit after. It was like after the Christmas, the Switch came out and I was playing Mario Odyssey and I finished that whole damn thing, right? I played a lot of games, bro. Um, So I was playing Mario, Mario Odyssey and then one day I was just a, like, I don't need this Switch. So I took it back. As soon as I took that shit in the GameStop and they gave me fucking like three Cheez-Its and a damn Slim Jim for it. Um, the, all, all of these games start pouring out and I'm like, wow, great, amazing. Can I get it back? No? Well, I'm kind of confused because there are diehard uh, Nintendo fans out there and there are people who aren't willing to pay $70 for the game. Now compare this to another popular franchise that many people know about called Call of Duty. Call of Duty was also priced at $70 on its release, which is scaring me. <laughs> Why? Because Call of Duty was one of the first games, you know, priced at this high of an amount. I remember back in my day, let me tell you, back in my day, you know, uh, new releases would be priced normally at $40. Now it is $70, which is almost two times that value. Um which is kind of scary because now it's becoming a trend for large companies like this to release games that may not live up to the value that they are placed at. A lot of people are saying that Tears of the Kingdom is just a complete copy and paste of Breath of the Wild, but just a new story. And I'm like, I'm sitting here like, is that what it's not supposed to be? Like, do you want them to make a whole nother fucking Legend of Zelda game? No, this is a sequel to a previous game, which means that it's obviously going to have to be similar in order for the game to be called a sequel. Duh. But the reason why this is scaring me, like I said, is because now it's going to increase the total amount that games are going to cost. Every, every game across the board, right? They're going to see this. They're going to see that its price is $70. They're going to think that it's time to up the ante and now all of these game developers and large companies and creators are going to start releasing their games for $70 as well or $60 or $50 when they were 40 or 30 and that's how you know inflation but ba <laughs> basically works right but at the same time it's like you know we're not really getting much more it's still a game and a disc and a thing you can open and close with a little pamphlet and a book that tells you the tutorial and the all the directions of the game in certain languages, right? It's not really like we're able to reach our hand through the screen and grab some titties or something, right? I would love for that to be true, but unfortunately, we have not made it to that level yet, which is why I'm going to have to slightly agree that these games coming out for this large amount of money, $70, um, is a little, you know, really because it's still just pixels we haven't really broken that boundary of really being in to the game 
really enjoying the game like at this if you if you think about it they're releasing uh tears of the kingdom for 70 dollars when elden ring was released for 60 dollars i know damn well tears of the kingdom is not going to be better than elden ring i promise to you <laughs> if you want more people to play your game you're gonna have to keep your prices down because you know your prices are going up but people's income is not really going up you know what i'm saying people aren't getting more money but you're costing more money for games for people to buy which is in turn getting you less people to buy your game so i just i just wanted to talk about uh you know some of these people being mad about uh the game is costing seven dollars now and my base my main opinion on it like i've said is that i have to agree with them a little bit i'm not angry i'm not mad because i'm just not really gonna buy the game so why should i care the reason i care is because it's gonna be a wave it's gonna be a domino effect the more games new releases that are released for 70 dollars the more other games are going to be priced for more money uh, because they think that it's okay but in reality a lot less people are gonna be able to you know spend the money to buy the game a couple of years from now maybe like 2030 games are going to be released for a hundred dollars <laughs> i promise you games are gonna games are probably going to be released for a hundred dollars and then 110 dollars and guess what all of a sudden everything is more expensive and it's not dropping and that's the problem so i just want to bring a little bit of light to this uh with that being said that is all i have to talk about legend of zelda tears of the the kingdom something i am excited for not you know to play but to see happen because i don't have a switch like i just i stated a, a little bit ago if you like this video subscribe maybe like it and please remember that this is only my side opinion <laughs>